Hello, I'm John Malos. This is David Krause, the inventor of the Street Strider. You're probably wondering, what are we doing? Well, you're watching Connect With Me live on Comcast Cable Channel 187, and we're right here on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. Oh, David. Oh, the Street Strider. It's got to get me in shape. I want to lose about 10 pounds. Will it help me do that? It will do that. Oh, we're back with more. Today's focus is on business. Connect with me live on Me TV. Oh my God! Ow! Oh! And welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows, live here on Comcast Channel 187. And I was kind of faking it there, really. Uh, the, the Street Strider here is uh, not that difficult, although if you stay on it for about an hour, I guess it, you will get winded and it will be, become kind of strenuous. I'm here with David Krause. He is the inventor. You can tell I'm starting to get out of breath here just a little bit. Um, I was riding this outside just a little bit ago. Now we're on the stationary platform here on the Street Strider. This is a locally owned business. Believe it or not, David hooked up with a guy from Fresno, ah, I'm out of breath here, in San Francisco uh, a few years ago and invented this thing. It's, it looks like a bicycle. It's not, and it gives you a great workout. All right, if I'm gonna talk, I gotta get off this thing. <laughs> All right, okay, it's a Street Strider, and it's kind of a combination of a bike, a treadmill, and a few other things, right, David? Well, we say it's a lot like the combination of jogging, skiing, and cycling all in one. Come on up here just for a second. Okay. okay. Um, uh, so um, this thing was invented by you. How did it all start? Um, I was a professor at UAB in Birmingham, Alabama for about the last 20 years. My specialty is physiology. And when I taught the exercise physiology portion of my classes, we always recognized that elliptical cross-country skiers were some of the best cardio fit people in the world. So when the elliptical machine started showing up in our recreation center at the university, we realized that was really a good exercise for people to mimic the Nordic skiing and get them in very good shape. But I kept hearing from people that, why are we stuck inside doing this? Right. So, so it's like snow skiing on a bicycle. It, it is. It, it's, it's a little bit like Nordic skiing. So Nordic skiing would be the cross-country skiing at first. But then when you carve back and forth to steer this, then it becomes like downhill skiing. So it's sort of a combination of both types of skiing. All right. As you know, Tuesday, we try to focus on local business. It is a locally owned business here in Fresno. Is that right? That's correct. We, right. we Our operational system is right here in Fresno. Okay. Um, you started this with a, with a guy named... What's his name? His name is Garrett Watkins. From Fresno. From Fresno. And you hooked up with him in San Francisco how many years ago? He was living in San Francisco about four or five years ago, and I hooked up with him then. We, yeah. had, a, we had a common interest in, in fighting kids' obesity, keeping people in shape. I was a professor at the time. He was a business person, so I needed the business help. He needed the, the uh, philosophical help of a professor, so we got together and formed this company. Okay, we're going to come back with more here on Connect With Me. You're watching us live on MeTV Fresno, Comcast Channel 187. David Krause, the inventor of this. That's it, Alex. Pull out so we can see it. It's the Street Strider. It's Focus on Business Day here on Connect With Me. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low-priced, leading brand's reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows here live on the showroom floor here at Ventura TV. And I'm with David Krause, the inventor of this machine. It's called the Street Strider. You may have seen the advertisements. It's a local business. David is the inventor. He actually, well, what did you do to invent this? I mean, you, you talked about the snow skiing aspect, the bicycle aspect. We can all see that. Um, what did you do? Just draw it out on a piece of paper? What, what happened? Well, in the early stages of this, this whole project, 
I recognized that you needed to take this machine and put it outside, an indoor elliptical machine, put it outside. But you had to separate the propulsion mechanism from the steering mechanism. What do you mean by that? Well, propulsion mechanism of your arms back and forth to propel you like you would on an indoor elliptical machine had to be separate from steering. There were lots of inventions from, from early in the 1900s. Hop, hop on there. Okay. There were, there were lots of inventions Show us what you're talking about. that would allow uh, bicycles to be used with movable handlebars. So handlebars were invented to go up and down or back and forth, but those handlebars on a bicycle that were doing that were also involved in steering. Right. And you don't steer with the handlebars on the street striker. You do not steer with the handlebars. The, the advent of having two wheels up front and one wheel in the back allows this vehicle to lean to steer. So your arms are... If you want to turn left, you lean left. You just lean left. If you want to turn right, you just lean right. So your arms do not have to steer you. Your body positions what steers you like you're on skis. Okay, I get on the treadmill at home. I walk. I do other exercises. Convince me that this machine is better than what I'm doing now or even riding a bike. Well, one of the aspects about running or walking or, or those sort of exercises is that you're really only using your lower body, your legs, for propulsion. Your upper body really is fairly uh, inactive at those stages. Cross-country skiing a little bit is a little different because now you're using your arms to push on the poles back as you're skiing. When you get on this elliptical machine, <coughs> excuse me, now you've got your arms that are actually involved in propulsion. So about 30% of the torque to that rear wheel is developed by your upper body musculature. So you really do put out a lot of calories on this as you're riding. So you can burn more calories on this than you can riding a bike or getting on a treadmill? Yes, we have had experiments done out at university, our, uh, the Denver Science, wait, wait a second, it's called the Health, the Rose Center for Sports and Health Science in Denver by Neil Wolkadolf, a professor there. He measured people on bicycles and street striders and found out that on average it's 50 to 60 percent more calories burned on striders than on a bicycle over the same path, the same distance, the same speed. Okay, now you were working as a professor at the University of Alabama when you came up with this idea. Pick up the story from there. Well, at, at UAB, where I was a professor, my speciality was physiology and energetics. Um, I worked a lot at the level of the cell, but I like to see what happened at the, at the entire organismal level, so the body. And what I, what, I, what I realized is that people need to find a way to stay active as we age. And running, some people can do it for their whole lifetime, but it really does take a toll on your joints. It's a lot of pounding, a lot of impact through your knees. Anything that can reduce that impact can keep you active for a much longer period of time. We also need a way to conduct exercise that involves upper body as well as lower body, and we also need weight-bearing exercises. It seems to me like you were really focused on the upper body in this machine because obviously working a treadmill, riding a bike is the lower body, so your focus was mainly on the upper body. How to involve the upper body? That's, that's exactly right, and that was the real benefit of elliptical machines that we saw in, the, in our gym or our rec center at the university. When the rec center was built, we had 20 treadmills, we had 20 ellipticals, we had 20 stationary bikes, and people would line up to get on the ellipticals even though the, the treadmills and the stationary bikes were vacant. If I'm 40 minutes on a bike, 40 minutes on a treadmill, and 40 minutes on the street strider, the better workout's going to be. I already know what your answer is going to be, but tell me why it's going to be better on this. Well, it's better on this, first off, because you're using so many different muscles. You use upper body and lower body compared to those other machines. And when you use all these different muscles that way, what it does is it spreads out the workload over all the muscles so not one group of muscle gets fatigued. When you're riding a bicycle or you're on a treadmill, you'll feel it primarily in the legs, especially the upper legs, the quadriceps, because that's primarily the muscles that are doing most of the work. When you're on this machine and you distribute the workload over all the muscles, not one muscle group gets fatigued, so you can do it for a longer period of time and not feel like you've beaten yourself up. Okay. Maybe we can uh, pull out here on this shot uh, just a bit. As you uh, go ahead and uh, start pedaling, you can see David is pedaling, and this is how you pedal. Uh, with this bicycle, you just push up and down with each foot, is that right? Yes, the, 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 the foot actually moves in, a, in an asymmetric elliptical path, very much like it is when you're jogging, and your arms are moving back and forth in a reciprocal motion that's like you're running, but now you're pulling and pushing onto the arm levers. Wow, and so how long did it take you to design this uh, street strider? Well, the, the first concept was, was drawn about... Uh, in about a month or two, we drew the pictures of it, and then it took us about two years to find out how to build one and get all uh, the aspects of it working properly. 
where is this manufactured? I know it's not manufactured in the U.S. because of the cost of factor and, of course, not here in Fresno, although your base here is, is here in Fresno. We're based here in Fresno. We're doing our work here. Um, we have an international sales group. We, we sell across the country. We sell to international dealers. But these are manufactured in Taiwan. We have a few different manufacturers over there, but that's where they're manufactured in Taiwan. Where would you come up with the idea to go to Taiwan and, and build these? When we were trying to build these in the United States, we were struggling with trying to get high quality and low cost. And after several different attempts to do this with different manufacturers, I contacted people at Trek Bicycle up in Waterloo, Wisconsin, Cannondale Bicycle in Pennsylvania, and also specialized in Santa Cruz, California. And all the managers of those companies said, go to Taiwan and see what sort of facilities they have over there to build bicycles. And you did. And we did. <laughs> we did. That's, that's where they're being built now. And that's where they're being built now in Taiwan. Can I get back on this thing? Just, just for a second here. Here, I'll let you hold that, but you got to hold it near me so I can talk. And right. I'm going to get up here. Yeah, that, that's it, David. Good job. Good job. So uh, in, in riding this uh, street strider here, if I want to turn right, I'm just going to lean this way. If I want to turn left, I'm just going to lean this way. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lean toward the viewers. You know why? We have to take a commercial break. We're out of time, but we're going to be back in just a moment here. We're going to continue our conversation with David Kraus, the inventor of this machine. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place since 1951 ventura tv appliance center we're working hard to be your place all right back here live on the showroom floor at ventura tv i'm john malice a little bit winded from getting off that street strider we're here with david kraus the inventor of the street strider and i want to take a quick phone call because our number is 265-4331 so let's take a call right now and see what the question is good morning you're live on connect with me what's your question yes i was watching the display or the demonstration of the street strider yes and i came up with some questions okay well the first might be uh, is it simply for exercise or can it be used for transportation david i'll let you handle that it can <laughs> easily be used for transportation it's it's very simple to cruise at 12 to 15 miles per hour so we have a number of people that use these for commuting um, you can put packs on it we can travel with uh, a trailer behind to, to, to take kids or, or groceries or dogs so it's it's a very it's a very um, utilitarian vehicle for that for those purposes. That's an excellent question. Any other questions? Yes. Does it require um, a level uh, like a paved surface, or can I take it off the street and off-road, if you will? Um, as long as the surface that you're riding on is hard packed and you don't sink into it like a like a soft sand, it'll ride fine on on dirt, gravel, things like that. But uh, you know, it's nicer. On a, on a paved surface because it's nice and smooth and there's less yeah. vibration, but. Yeah, it looks to me like the front wheel span would, would take up the whole sidewalk. Is that, is, does that actually work that way? The, f the front wheel track is about 26 inches, which is equivalent to the width of a handlebar on a mountain bike. Uh, it'll fit through external doors of a house and it will occupy as much, about as much space width-wise as, uh, as the handlebars of a bike. So if you can fit the handlebars of a bicycle along a path, you can actually the strider now here's the thing i want to i want to tell you ma'am uh when we rolled this thing in the studio today we rolled it right through a standard size door okay that answers that question my next question is particularly pertinent to me is when you stepped up on that thing it looked as if you had to stretch um your low back and across the hip line in order to step across it to get on and it has, has always appeared to me that an alpine type exerciser did the same thing while you were in motion. I have a really bad back from an auto accident many years ago, but I do need exercise. 
What we often ask people is that are they familiar and able to use an indoor elliptical machine? If you're able to do that, that's a, such a similar motion that the only thing that's additional to that is you're leaning back and forth to steer it. But um, if you can use an indoor elliptical machine, you could use this machine. Are, are you are you able to 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 walk, ma'am? You said you have back problems. Are are you able to? Um, most most of the time I do walk adequately. Yes. And what do you do for exercise now? Um, walk. Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I ask David a question for you? All right. Would this help this young lady in in this type of situation if she has a bad back or or? What is your what's your estimate on that? Well, we, we really don't make recommendations for people to do this w without consulting their physicians. But I would say that we have a number of people with various sorts of uh, skeletal or muscular issues that find the street strider to be very conducive to getting exercise without impact with a very low uh, um, stress on back joints, uh, knee joints, and, and ankle joints. So, so it has proven helpful for a number of people, and I would recommend uh, for this particular person to, to go to a, a studio or a fitness store, try an indoor elliptical Consult machine. Consult with your doctor first, though. Consult with your doctor, absolutely. Right. Right. Try an indoor elliptical machine and then give, the, give your physician an idea of what you have in mind well, and get their what, recommendation. What, go ahead. One of the things that appealed to me about the idea of your machine is that I am no longer steady enough in my sense of balance for a bicycle. And this looked like that wouldn't be a requirement. Well, one of the, and your first name is, I'm sorry. My name is Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, uh, one of the things that we're going to talk about in, in one of the other, the last segment is what you saw is the stationary part of that bike. It's on a stationary platform. You can also take it outside and ride it just like a bicycle and be very mobile. So you can have it in your home. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. That's exactly or what it's designed garage. for. And right now in the showroom floor, we have it on a stationary platform. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you how it looks when you ride outside on the pavement in just a few minutes. Well, I got the impression that it wouldn't be as um, much a requirement for a perfect sense of balance as a bicycle. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Um, because it's three wheels, you're on a tripod, so it's inherently more stable than two wheels on a bicycle. I mean, you can, you can clamp on the brakes when you're outside and stand perfectly upright without having it tip over. Okay. So it does, have, it does have advantages in that way. Um, but, it, I mean, you, you do have to lean back and forth to steer it, but the balance issues is not nearly as critical on our machine as it would be on a bicycle. Okay, excellent. And uh, later in the program, you're going to tell us how to contact you, right? Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. Cheryl, very kind of, of you to call. We appreciate the phone call. That's Cheryl. And we're going to take a quick time out here on Connect With Me. You're watching us live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV on me tv fresno comcast channel 187 back in a moment ventura tv appliance center we're the save energy save time save money place the energy star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from whirlpool place you heard right right now save big on select whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. MeTV presents a comfort TV musical moment. Once there was a man named Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. He wore his clothes very messy. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. The Odd Couple, weeknights at 9.30, 8.30 Central on MeTV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brand's reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to 
of Me TV, Comcast Channel 187. I'm John Manos, along with salesperson uh, Dennis Patton here at Ventura TV. And Dennis, you're going to talk about the DVD home theater system, a beauty here. Yeah, definitely. This is from RCA. This is the DVD home surround sound system. So you can actually watch your DVD movies in surround sound. All right. Now, I've noticed that on a lot of flat screen TVs now, the sound is low because you got the small speakers. Okay. How is this going to help me? hear my TV much better and is it is it going to be a lot louder than it is now? Well definitely it will be louder because the flat panels that they build today actually have small speakers that are built in the bottom that shoot downward so you don't get clear sound. With these small speakers they actually put out a good sound and they're direct in your face kind of sound so you don't have any distortion. Yeah, I was just going to ask you we've got five speakers here as you can see one two three four five they're small in nature so I'm thinking, okay, they're so small, how is that sound going to carry all the way across my living room, which is fairly large? Well, it will because it's direct right in your face. Like I was saying before, you have your surround front, which actually is your main voice. You have four speakers that give you the surround of sound effect and a big subwoofer for that big bang that you always like to hear in the war movies. All right. I have a problem installing anything and everything. Is this difficult to install? No, this is so easy. The wires are color coded. So if you can know what a color is, you plug it in, you're done. Maybe my son can do it or maybe my dog can do it. You can actually do it if you can read the colors. All right, Dennis, what are we talking about in terms of price for this DVD home theater system here at uh, Ventura TV? Well, we usually actually sell it for two nineteen, but for Connect With Me viewers from now till tomorrow, we're selling for one twenty nine. Oh man, $129 for a DVD home theater system that helps you hear your flat screen television much better including in my living room, which is fairly large. Yes, it will cover a fairly large room and even a bedroom if you like those midnight movies. All right, and this special $129 is good through tomorrow at noon, especially for you, the Connect With Me viewers, right here at Ventura TV, the local choice since 1951. How do you get to Ventura TV? Very, very simple. If you live in River Park, you come down 41, it's 10 minutes away. If you live in Clovis, hit the 168, we're another 10 minutes away. And if you're coming down 99, either from Visalia or driving down from Merced or Sacramento, hey, get off the freeway, get off on Ventura Avenue, travel eastbound, and you'll see us on the left-hand side. Back with more of our conversation with D uh, David Krause, the inventor of the Street Strider, in just a moment, live here on Comcast. I'm Lou Grant. Mary asked me to do a promo for Me TV. You want to see me, Lou? <laughs> not now, Ted. Watch me on Danish. Don't it? I said not now, Ted. Watch me on Me, Me TV. You don't like me? I'll fire you. Watch Mary Tyler Moore. I'll fire you. Me TV Fresno now on Comcast Channel 187. Yeah. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Mallows trying to ride this Street Strider here. Now, this is the stationary platform. We also tested this Street Strider out in the parking lot just a little while before the show. Let's take a look at that video. Uh, David was actually helping me get on the vehicle here, and there we are there in the parking lot at Ventura TV. And um, now I'm going to get on it. As you can see, this is... You know, we're on the platform inside. This is outside. It rides just like a bicycle. You turn left, you lean left. You want to turn right, you lean right. It takes some getting used to. There's no doubt about it, right, David? Yeah, I mean, a few, a few minutes, probably five or ten minutes, for John to be out in the parking lot and make a couple of loops, and he gets the idea of leaning to steer instead of trying to steer with handlebars like a bicycle. All right, I don't want to ask you, a locally owned business here in Fresno, is it difficult to compete being a local business? Uh, compete with what? Well, there's no one else that sells these things in the world. No, competing with 
selling a bicycle, selling a treadmill, selling some other kind of exercise apparatus, those are the ones that you're competing against. There's a, there's a lot of different types of exercise apparatus, you're correct. Um, and the elliptical machines are highly desirable by many people. But l most folks like to be outside as well. So we have provided a unique opportunity for people to get this wonderful exercise and travel outside. So we really have carved ourselves out sort of a, a unique niche. So how do you convince people that this is a better apparatus than any other around there? Well, the, the easiest way to do it is have them come over to our store and try it. Which is located? We're located at the intersection of Knees and North Palm, right there at the GB3 sh uh, Shopping Center. And you can go right outside our store and try these things and ride around the parking lot for as long as you'd like. All right. We got some other video as well to show you some other people riding the street strider around. Of course, I almost hit the wall there and hit uh, David's car uh, in the parking lot earlier this morning. Uh, there is the street strider there. That is actually promotional video that we're looking at. That's correct. That's part of our videos that we've done in the past. Uh, it's part of our infomercial that's airing on TV. There's the kids model. There's us riding through a neighborhood. Um, so we have a lots of different videos that we've shot. Uh, the kids love these kids' machine as well. Before I get off the air here, before we run out of time, you do build a kids' version of this, right? We do. We The, the kids lug this machine so much, um, they try to ride the adult ones. We decided we would develop a, a kids' machine that's for ages 5 through 12, and uh, they, they love it because of the carving nature. Okay, quickly now, what are you talking about in terms of price? Because I know people at home are saying, all right, what's this going to cost me? What's the catch? <laughs> okay, our, we started our top-of-the-line unit, which is what you're riding here. It's an 8-speed version. Um, drum brakes up front, uh, caliper brake in the back, and it runs for $18.99, but on sale here in Fresno, it's for $15.19. Okay, we, uh, then, we then switch to a three-speed model, the same frame, and that drops down to about $12.79 here in Fresno. And then we have a, a single-speed version uh, that's uh, normally $8.99, and we sell that for $7.19, 20% off here in Fresno. And the kids' version is about $3.99. All right. The other question people are probably asking at home is, it's still a little pricey for me. Is it ever going to come down below 1000 This machine is quite a bit more complex to build than a bicycle. For instance, a bicycle has a pair of pedals, two wheels, and one pivot point, which is the steering column up front. Comparably, this machine has three wheels, it has 11 pivot points, and those pivot points have to line up precisely to make sure that this is a smooth operational machine. So it's a bit more complex and quite a bit more expensive to build than a bicycle. See, I think Cheryl brought up, our caller brought up a very good point in terms of balance. To be on a bicycle, you've got to learn how to balance. Uh, the balance is not as big an issue on this. No, it's not. Because you're on three wheels, you're, you're inherently more stable. You're on a tripod. You're not balancing on two wheels. So you can stop this thing at, 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 a, at a stop sign or a crossroad, hold onto the brakes, and you can stand perfectly upright on this without tilting over. So it provides you with a, a much better degree of balance than it would on a bicycle. Do you get stares and looks when you ride this thing? Always. We, we, one of our taglines is we turn heads. <laughs> yeah. They're probably wondering, what is this thing? Yes. When we first started developing these things and we'd ride them down to beach paths in Southern California, people would jump out in front of us just to stop us and find out where we could rent these or where they could purchase them. So it, it is really quite a, a, a eye-opening and an attractive machine for, for people to see this riding down the road. But, of course, you know, if you have health issues and this and that and you want to get the exercise, like we said earlier, check with your doctor first to see if this is the right machine for you. Go test one out, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we always recommend consult your physician. Try an indoor elliptical machine because that's a very similar motion. And then come over to our store there at Palm and Nice and try one of these things. And we'll, we'll, we'll give you lessons outside, let you try it for as long as you'd like. All right. We're going to close out the show with me writing this thing. Can you hold this? And I can, I can continue talking, I guess. I don't know. You can go ahead and uh, pull out there a little bit so we can see the machine. The Street Strider available here. David Krause is the inventor. I'm John Malos, live here from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. The Street Strider is a very interesting vehicle i must say as far as exercise is concerned i've never ridden one of these before until today and we are out of time we're going to see you tomorrow we are going to be back at 10:30 live from the showroom floor at ventura tv